Hi, Stanley Lewis, course developer and tutor here at Point Blank Online. Got something really cool for our Logic students here, and it's basically an interview with Paul Yarrow from Logic Cafe. He's put together a really interesting new product for Logic, and it's a, a control skin that sits on top of the keyboard, brings lots of new functionality. So let's take a look at the interview. Hi, Paul. Welcome to Point Blank. You've brought the control skin down, so can you tell us about it? Yeah, and um, the control skin is essentially just uh, a small cover that literally can, you can just pull on and take off and put, and put back on that goes over your Mac keyboard, the laptop, or the, as we've got here is the Apple Wireless. And basically you just put it on and it essentially turns your keyboard into a, a control surface for Logic Pro. Okay. Um, so I've just tried to take advantage of, of the fact that you can you know, move all the key commands around yourself, you can set things yourself. So my thinking was Logic's actually got thousands and thousands of features in it that you can get to and you can actually turn your your Mac key, your QWERTY keyboard into a fully functional you know MIDI controller and controls customized control service for Logic Pro so what I've tried to do is actually create um, a, a work surface um, using the, the the fact that you can rearrange the key commands so you can have some fun playing Logic uh, playing about with Logic making tracks on Logic on the move without carry, having to carry a load of MIDI instruments around with you you know uh, MIDI keyboards and things, you just wherever you go, you can pull your laptop cover up and you've got a full control surface just sitting there. Okay, so the white and black keys there, are they musical notes? They are, yeah. It's, uh, it acts um, just like a um, the piano keyboard, just, just like a MIDI keyboard. It works off the caps lock keys, obviously. And okay. So you can, just, you can just play it straight away there. And the, the space bar also acts as a pedal. Okay, so it's a real visual representation of what's happening on that caps lock keyboard there, but exactly. actually on the typewriter keyboard. Well, this is the point. I mean, and, you know, if you were trying to play the caps lock keyboard, and you know, you've sort of got this in front yeah, of you. Yeah. You know, it's a lot. Di it's a, it's yeah. a heck of a difference. Yeah. You know, you know, it's because it's really quite a powerful tool. You know, if Apple think it's strong enough to keep it in there, mm. yet you still can't see it. Yeah. So the idea was to actually just have a, you know, a skin over the top. And you can see the keys. You can play them. Yeah. Turn, turn it into a performance tool rather than a, you know. Just, just something anywhere you've got to take notes of what's on the screen. Yeah, because I think a lot of our students potentially are unaware of some of the key commands that exist, some of the things that could actually make working with Logic a lot easier. Yeah, well, and I mean, this is what, I mean, there's so many key commands. The, the, the basic ones that they, they, they give to you, I mean, they do make sense. I mean, obviously, like I say, if you take this off, R makes sense for record, um, M makes sense for mute, S makes, makes sense for solo because you're sort of looking at it like this. Yeah. But I sort of got to thinking that, you know, if you're going to put actually really useful key commands in there, I thought well, you can actually make it work a little bit more sort of like machine or, or like an MPC. You can actually turn yeah. it into a performance tool. You can turn uh, record into record toggle, which is something I've done. So you can, if you're, if you're, if you're actually playing, you can you know, whack it into record, whack it out of record mm -hmm. um, as it's going and just let yeah. it loop round and keep going. Yeah, so it looks like you've almost got like a transport sort of set of controls there and was you mimicking the tabs that you've got down the bottom with the mixer, sample ed editor? Yeah, that's right. And I also try, you know, with the transport, I try to work off colour as well because this is, the, like I say, I'm trying to make it a little bit more of a performance tool. So the idea is that you've got sort of solos yellow, mutes blue, the, um, the navigation sort of rewind, fast forward, um, and return, or orange, and, and record is red. And that just makes it so it's more intuitive when you're using yeah. it. And the tab section here, I mean, uh, I've got the mixer, sample editor, if it's just mixer, sample editor, you know, there's piano roll when you've got some MIDI recorded in, yeah. and, the, and the score functions, and they just mimic these tabs here. So uh, again, it's more of a, th there's a little bit of a reflection going on there mm -hmm. from, from what you're actually used to using in Logic. So Paul, you've got an exclusive demonstration for us. What are you going to be showing us? That's right. I'm just going to be showing, um, just demonstrating how this can work as a production tool and sort of in increase your workflow. It doesn't totally um, replace the mouse, but equally um, in the demonstration, it just shows some, some ways of using it as a, a production tool, as a, a MIDI keyboard. You know, there's little things like chopping samples up, one, bu one button chopping samples up, sending it to the sampler, things like that. One or two little features that I, I, I just want to demonstrate for it. Here's a quick demonstration of how quick editing and recording in Logic Pro can be when using the control skin. A feature of the control skin is the ability to chop and export a sample to the EXS at the push of a button. Just hit the region to sample button, select transients and it's done.
I want to edit the last two beats of the bass loop. Pressing the escape key, I can access the scissors tool on the control skin to make a cut. By pressing the set LR button, I can quickly set the cycle to the length of the selected region. I hit piano roll to see the note data. I'm going to mute all the notes and play my own edit on the caps lock keyboard. By hitting record, I can punch in when I'm happy and punch out when I'm done. A nice shortcut to tidy the performance in this case is to hold the Alt and Shift keys together if you'd like those notes selected to be of an equal length. Hitting the user 2 key enables you to add a new track. I'm going to add software instruments. I can activate the caps lock keyboard and audition the sounds whilst navigating through them with the cursor keys. Again, when I'm happy with what I'm playing, I can punch in on record and lay it straight down. Once happy with the main loop, an arrangement can be quickly created by pressing the repeat section key. I can then mute off any parts to create sections and build an arrangement. Thank you. 